All right, this is under that 1967 Ford Mustang. And we'll just go through here. So, look, new shocks, new A-arms. It's got front disc brakes. I really like that. It's got the 302. It's got the three-speed transmission, dual exhaust, flow master, mufflers on there. Got new shocks on the rear, newer, not brand new, but newer shocks. It's got a new fuel tank, drum on the rear, rear end looks good. And you can see in throughout here, this is some scaling that is going on. It's not perfect. It looks like a lot of dust was a Texas vehicle before it got here. These floor pans have been replaced. You can see that on both sides. They did a good job with that. Not full deterioration with any of the other parts, especially like the unibody frame here. That's all in good shape. All the support system itself is actually in really good shape. So you see the metal with the fenders. Those have been replaced. Those are new. There is a little bit of deterioration right there that you can see. But overall, this thing is actually in really good shape. It runs out good. All the suspension, the steering, the shocks, that is all just the way that you want it. Nice and ready to go. Hey guys, it's Hutch, Classic Car Addict, Mesa, Arizona. I'm going to bring this brand new addiction. This is a 1967 Ford Mustang. It's got the 302. It's got a C4 three-speed automatic transmission done in Wimbledon white, original Wimbledon white car. It's got a beautiful vinyl top on it. It also has the black with some custom white interior, and it is really, really nice and comfortable. What we're going to do is go through the exterior, go through the interior, and take you on a test drive. Stay tuned. This beautiful 1967 Mustang is ready to go. Got a 302 in it, C4, three speed transmission. Paint is actually in really good shape all throughout. This hood alignment here and this fender could be adjusted just a little bit, but this vinyl top, look at this thing. It is just beautiful. We got that restored and it sounds just amazing it really does there's no real issues with this paint again just going through here make sure everything's all good vinyl top is in such great shape the wheels are not perfect Again, if you saw any of the previous videos we went through on this one, tires are in good shape. Body panels in good shape. Those are 235, 6014s. It is a C code, so it's your five lug. Yeah, they sound so good. brakes there's a little chip right there everything else is in pretty good shape little chip right there a few little, few little things that's all good there and that's missing the center cap there on that one Up under the hood. Been painted. It is a real C code. Got the original stampings there on the fender, so it's not been wrecked hard by any means. Could have been wrecked, absolutely, but not wrecked hard. This could literally just use a little bit of an adjustment here to bring it in. It'd actually look a lot better. But the engine. That thing runs really, really well. It's got a few different accessories on it. Uh, it's not all original. We're not putting it as, but it runs. It runs really, really well. Close is good. Coming over 
here to the interior. Door panels, they are matching. I really like these seats. These are actually really comfortable here. Rear seats all in good shape. Deck trays in good shape. Headliners in great shape. Dome light does not work. But the center console, I really, really like the center console. All the gauges. Got your stereo. Wipers work. Horn works. All of that. Let's show you the trunk. Let's show you the window here too. Let's show you window up and down. It goes up and down really nice and smooth. And for the rear, it goes up and down good. Get in here to the trunk. And it has been finished right here too. This is new window moldings, the felts on the inside. I like how they finished this off. They did a really good job. And then just going through here to show you that this metal is actually in good shape. The metal's all in really good shape too. I like that. This one's a little bit harder to get out of, but that one is in good shape too. I did take that out just to check and confirm to make sure it is. And then here, that's all in good shape over there on that side. This foam to kind of help keep that pushed out. And then all along in here, again, it's a little bit harder to get out, but it's all in good shape. And I really like that finished painted trunk there. Closes nice. That's a little bit of dust, but that's what you expect here in Arizona over here door panels are all in great shape seats are in good shape dash pads in good shape check the windows that goes up and let's get that one there too that thing we'll check is the lock see if the key works I use the right key. Yep, and that does work. There we go. Yeah, so that works just the way that it is. Let's get to the test drive. Let's get to the fun part. Let's see how this thing actually runs out. Right. So let's get you all in there. Mm. There we go. All right. Starts right up. Click it or ticket. This one does have seat belts. Does have seat belts in the rear too. So none of the fans, the fan does not work. Horn works, wipers work. I know the stereo's got a whole bunch of speakers around in it. It's not turning on. We'll get that checked. That's got a got some really nice speakers in the rear. It's got the wood steering wheel. This one does not have the power brakes, does not have the power steering, but it does actually turn really well. You guys still there? Let's try it one more time. Let's see if we can get this on there good. All 
Right. Turn signals do work. Let's see if they do the automatic shut off. That's always another thing to know if they do or not. It wants to. It did not. We'll try it again on this corner. No, nah, did not work. Maybe next one. like we are if this gas gauge works we might make it we might not well we'll definitely see so it's got the oil pressure light does not have the gauge we'll check and see if that uh, temperature works been on for a little bit so it should have moved a little bit already but doesn't look like that one's moved Speedometer is not working, so we got no speedometer. It doesn't look like the heat's working. The heat, uh, the fan is not working. The temperature gauge is not working. Oh, that's oil. That's oil pressure gauge. Sorry, the temperature is not working either. So I don't know if the uh, gas gauge is working or not. There's a few little things that I would definitely fix on this. Looks like, you know, a lot of this is just little little gauge things. All of the lights do work. Uh, stereo is not turning on. So we got uh, we got horn and wipers, which we normally don't have. And this one has horn and wipers. Uh, yeah, so speedometer gauge. I don't know if the gas gauge works or not, but this thing, it actually, it rides out really, really well. I would turn this wheel also. Um, just do a couple rotations uh, and to have it where it's centered that always bothers me even on my new truck it still bothers me but I do that other than that this thing is actually really nice it drives out really well it's got a great interior a few little things need to be fixed on it but we got more than 200 photos we have nationwide transport and online financing classic car